In this gray log feature video, I'm going to go over archives. Archives can be found in the interface underneath the enterprise dropdown onto the archives. This is the overview page of the archives, but I'm going to start off with the configuration side of it. And the first part of that is understanding the backends. Where do you want to store your logs at? So in this case here, we have one of them. It is called file system. And if I open that up, you give it a title and a brief description, and then you tell it where on that file system can you store those logs. In this case, I'm calling out a directory, and then you can see an ex example of how that will look when it's stored, but also understand that in this output base path, you can variableize this and put things like year, month, day, if you want to create subfolders based upon those kind of variables. Once you understand your backend, then you go into the configuration side. You'll see this first section here is describing that back end. Where do you want to store these files at? So I have one current file system or back end that I'm going to point to. And then you can determine your compression type. Uh, be aware some compression types are faster. Gzip does offer the best compression ratio. And then the restore index batch size is when you want to restore these archives, how many logs are we going to reimport per set? And then down here on the bottom is which one of these streams of data that we're collecting, in this case AWS or firewalls or DNS logs, are we going to bring into this backend system? So you can set up multiple backends for different types of logs. If maybe, for instance, for PCI, you need to have a stream around PCI data and keep that on a different archive structure because you need to keep that for a full year instead of 30 days. So keep that in mind that you can have different streams going to different backends for longer retention periods. Now outside of those archives, the next thing you need to do is actually get to the, the indices themselves. And the indices, they determine which log type that's going to be collected. So if you think of things like AWS, that would be one indice, and I can open that one up, and I can get a kind of an overview of that. Now if I look here, you'll see all the different indexes that I've collected so far. Well, the first one that's actually open in writing. You can see some queries and some metrics around that, which shard it's getting written to. But up top, you can see the, the overview of that. In this case here, your retention period is one day. So we're going to keep one day's worth of logs. We're doing it based upon a time index. You can do other things as far as message counts or size of logs. And then you can also set the max number of indices. So while this rotates on a once a day basis, it's going to keep 14 days of those logs. And then after that, it's going to start deleting those archives off. So on the 15th day, that one gets deleted. It makes room for the next one. If you want to configure any of these indexes, you can click on the edit key. And at the bottom here, then you can pick that time. So we could pick a different time range. If you want to do it maybe once a week, um, you can then archive that or delete it or just close it off. Um, and then the, the process of after you do the archive, you can also you know, delete or do none. So very configurable around the way, around the way that you're going to keep all those data and how long you're going to retain all that. And then the last side around those archives is the overview. And this here, you can see all the different archives that we have. If I open up any one of those, you'll see here some details around that where it's located at on the file system. Is the archive available? And if you wanted to restore this, you can click here in the web interface. It will go back, pull that data in, bring it in. And the other side of that too that you can do is do it through our API. Hopefully that helps explain a little bit more about archives. And thanks for listening in, and happy logging.